Hello, I'm Morris. I'm Year 10 student at Harold Senior High School. I'm also visually impaired. My friend Albert and I like to go to the beach. Dude, how crazy was the weekend? I know, man, that was insane. You got smashed by yeah. those massive waves. <laughs> Dude, you look different today. I feel different. You forgot your tie, man. What? <laughs> uh, it's all good, just put it on in class. Okay. So, did you go to the animal shelter again this weekend? I did, Albert, I did. And um, the best was showing me they had these new guinea pigs in, and there's one called Benji. I had them while I was stroking in. Oh. It was really fine. Guinea pigs are so cool, man. I love it when they spark them up. Could you feel a vocal? Yeah, it had a bit of a vocal going on. Oh, were you working at the shelter again this weekend, Boris? I was bestowed, uh, I was. And I was just saying, Albert, they had these new guinea pigs. Okay, class. Today we're going to be introducing the topic of nationalism. So can I please get you all to take out your exercise books so we can take some notes? Ah, oh, exercise book again. Uh, can someone please lend Albert some paper? <laughs> Typical Albert. Okay, so what we're going to be doing now is listening to a piece of music. It's called Finlandia by Sibelius. So what I want you to do is lie down on the floor and close your eyes. So that way we're paying closer attention to what we hear. Oh, Ow, it's so hard. Yes, this will suck. So, hear Finlandia. To include Morris more in my lessons, I've tried to incorporate more of an oral teaching approach. We do a lot of listening activities, which is an important part of any music program, and we also have a huge focus on practical activities. When it comes to practical activities, Morris is such an inspiration for the rest of the class. He learnt how to play guitar by ear and is extremely skilled in this area. He is able to learn new songs faster than any other student, and this means that he is able to help them too. Third finger, third fret on the string yeah. below that. Sweet, okay, yeah. Yeah, and then your middle finger oh, okay. goes yeah. lower string, second fret. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that sounds good. Cheers, Boris. No worries. So good. As Morris's teacher, I must take reasonable steps to ensure that the coursework program is designed in such a way that he, or any student with a disability, is able to participate in the learning experiences including the assessment and certification requirements of the course or program. I like it how Miss Dovedale runs the music class, like including me in practical activities. as his developed sense of hearing means that he has perfect pitch. As many students in the classroom struggle with oral work, Morris offers up his time to help tutor his classmates. If you're having trouble, remember that song we used as a reference point. Something about wars and the Star Wars. Um, it's the Star Wars intro to that, right? Um, it's Perfect fit? That's right, perfect fit. Very good. Vision Australia is the leading provider of blindness and low vision services in Australia. They work in positive partnership with Australians who are blind or have low vision to help them to participate fully in every aspect of life they choose. My role at Vision Australia is broken up into two parts. 
I spend half my time travelling to high schools across the state where I go into music classes and support the teachers, offering advice and resources. The other part of my job is running regular workshops teaching Braille music notation. Few educators realise that the system of notation known as Braille was originally developed not for language or literacy works, but for music. The school is really supportive of Morris and is currently looking at purchasing a revolutionary new resource for the visually impaired, a PathMate Braille display. This uses a fantastic program which will translate information on the computer screen into Braille notation. The computer software also allows you to hear the text orally as well as read it in Braille. Okay, once I'm in here, you'll notice that the cursor is on a dog's tail and if you were to look at the Braille display, there's some blinking dot down here, and it's under the word a uh, dog's tail. Now, if I scroll down, blank. it actually goes blank because that's showing you that's white space. And if I scroll down again, by Mark Twain. it says by Mark Twain, and once again it says by Mark Twain. Having Morris in the classroom means that I have to be more aware of the layout of the classroom. The classroom environment can be quite hazardous at times as there are always a lot of cords from computers and keyboards around the room, as well as many different instruments such as drum kits. We've tried our best to keep the classroom clear from clutter to make it a safer learning environment. One, two, three, four. Some of the time, though, he needs to uh, get some assistance from me, but I try to keep that to a minimum. I read an article the other day that was talking about the role that the EA has in the classroom for uh, students with impairments. And some of the things that they were talking about in this article were the EA is to support and reinforce the teacher instruction, so not to teach the students. We need to prepare materials, monitor their safety, support social interactions, and work with other teachers and parents to communicate on their well-being. These are all important things I found, and I think that uh, if I look at the role that I take in Morris's education, um, the one thing that I take out of this is I need to be a support for Morris and be there for him when the, the help is needed, but not to overcrowd him and, and allow him to work independently. I try not to do the work for him, rather assist him to learn. A lot of the other students that are in the class help out Morris with his work anyway, and so I think that it's important that I allow that social networking and it builds upon his social skills. I really enjoy working with Morris and helping him along his educational journey. It's really good to see Morris being such a motivational student and so enthusiastic about working. I have regular meetings with his parents and with his other teachers to make sure that we're all on the right track. Communication is paramount to the successful educational experience for Morris that he's gonna have. And I think that if we, if we keep working along these lines that Morris is gonna turn out to be an excellent student. Me and Morris have been friends for about uh, since we were in year three, so a pretty long time. And he's been an awesome friend to hang out with. We get to go to the beach like every second, um, every second Saturday, and we catch a train and a bus. And yeah, we go to Cottesloe Beach. And there was this one time where we went to the beach and we got smashed by this massive wave. Like I counted down from three. I was like, ready, one, two, three, and we caught this wave together. And then it crashed on top of us, and we were like being mashed up together and it was just really funny we, we got out and we were just laughing we had a really good time and um yeah it was just really cool you know like for someone who who has he's visually impaired so he can't really see but for him to still have a good time and still hang out with his mates and i think it's really important and in the classroom as well it's it's starting to get more to that level as well like a couple of years ago they didn't not really any of the other students in my classroom they didn't really understand him but this past um, 
this past year they've all started to get to know him a little bit more and how cool he is and it's yeah it's been really fun like sometimes I find it's really tricky just to let him do his own thing sometimes as well because I often want to help him like if there's a book on the top shelf I just want to grab it for him because it's easy but to let him do his own thing as well and give him the opportunity to to grow and to learn as well I think is really important so yeah but he's a legend and all of our classmates we love him we just think he's the best. Morris was born blind and at first we were quite lost. Uh, then we did some research and we found some really great resources. We called up the staff at Vision Australia um, and they were really helpful and we also contacted Blind Children's Resource Centre yeah. and they helped us approach his condition in a more positive way. Um, they helped us realise that blindness means using alternative skills, methods and tools to get the job done. Uh, sight is only one sense and Morris is really lucky. He still has his hearing, can touch, smell and taste and move. Yeah, Morris has some really great friends at school who are really supportive of him and help him get around at school and they've been really great with him. Uh, obviously at home we have to make sure that we keep all the walkways clear so that he doesn't injure himself and we have to make sure that all of our household items are where they usually are so that he can find them. When he is at home he really loves listening to the radio, he loves music and it's his favourite subject at school. He's actually learning to play guitar at school which he really loves and since I play guitar as well sometimes at home we get together and have a jam which is really <laughs> Obviously his condition means that the teachers have had to modify the curriculum to include him in tasks and activities, but they've been really good with that and Belinda and I go in sometimes and check, just check on his progress with his teachers and his educational assistant. Uh, sometimes he can get really sad, which is really tough for us as parents, like one particular day he actually came home in tears. Um, that particular day he just felt like such a burden and that was, that was really tough. It's alright. Sorry. Just give us a minute. I just get so emotional. It really breaks my heart to see you like that. <laughs> Morris has a great love of animals, so we volunteer at our a local animal shelter once a week. It helps him feel like he's having a positive impact on the community rather than being a hindrance. When an animal recovers due to his health, it really builds his confidence and he feels really good about himself. Yeah, he really loves it. Well, thank you, Belinda and Lennon, for coming down and speaking to us here today. It's been really valuable to get your feedback on the changes that we've made to the curriculum and just generally in the classroom. So it's been really good for us uh, working with Morris to have your input. No problem. Thanks for your time, Deborah. Yeah, Even though I'm visually impaired, I think Harold Senior High School is a really cool place for me. With friends like Albert, teachers like Miss Overdale, and EAs like Mr Roberts, I feel like I can reach my fullest potential. <laughs> So lucky to have such great friends that care about my needs, that watch me, that catch me if ever I fall. Though my vision is impaired, I've got friends and they.